Hi, thanks for being here. Today I'll be making chicken cheesesteak. Let's get started. Okay, here in my pan I'm going to add some oil. Not very much. Here I have some onions, some red, yellow, and green bell pepper and some chopped mushroom. And I sliced everything thin. I'm gonna get those going for a minute. Just let them get started. Now I'm going to add in the bell pepper. Adding in our mushrooms and I sliced these thin also. I sliced everything thin. Gonna add a little bit of salt and some pepper. We're gonna cook these until they become soft and tender. That took only about three minutes, and I'm going to. Take these out, set them aside, and keep them warm. I'm just going to cover them with another plate here. Okay, right here I have, this is one chicken breast. And I cut, cut it really thin. I'm going to show you. I just thought I'd leave a little piece so you can see. And I just took it and sliced it. You need a really sharp knife so that you can cut it really thin. In the store, in the store you can find it. Shade, they call it. But it's cut really nice and thin. Yep, that's how you want this. I'm going to finish this right quick. And for this chicken to be easy, easily cut, let it get nice and chilled. You can sit it in the, um, the freezer for maybe about 20, 20 minutes or so. So it can get nice and stiff. And like I said, it'll be easier to slice. Here I have some shaved beef. And it's done the same way. See how nice and thin that is? Can you see? Mm-hmm. So, in the same pan that I took the onions and bell peppers out of, I'm going to add some oil. A little more oil. Add in this chicken. Don't have it up too high because you know it'll cook up really fast. And I have some of this steak. I'm going to add in as well.
Mm-hmm. So if you want this sandwich. Uh, I think I want to cut it up a little more because it's pretty long. Season this up. Yeah, it brought the heat down a little bit, but it'll come back up. Just want to mix, get these stirred together. I'm adding some garlic powder. Mm hmm. I'm gonna use some adobo seasoning. Not adobo, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's adobo by Badia. Getting confused here. There you go. <laughs> and remember, it has salt in it. So be careful. I'm adding some pepper. I'm just going to move this around and fill until it's done. And it won't take long because everything is is uh, cut thin. Okay, that's done. I'm going to add a little bit of beef broth. And I'm going to move this over to another part of the stove and put it on low and let it just simmer to absorb that broth I just put in there. So in this pan, I'm going to add some more of this beef broth. Oh, dang on it. I'm going to also add some chicken stock. And some Italian house dressing. Remember, this has big flavor. Big flavor. Yes, it does. Get this warmed up. Gonna taste it. my cheese and this is some mild cheddar that I grated myself you can add whatever type of cheese that you like mm-hmm turn it down because I don't want it to burn just want it to melt slowly where you want this nice and cheesy and flavorful we're going to set this aside here I have some mini sub buns I'm going to add some butter and my pan is nice and hot so we just want to brown these up and warm them up toast them up Mm -hmm. 
almost there. Okay, that's the way we want it. Turn it down. See what we've got here. There we go. So back in this pan, we're going to add our onions and bell peppers. <clears throat> Excuse me. Mm-hmm. I have my cheddar. as much or as little as you like. Mm -hmm. A little bit more. And on top of this you can add some some jalapeno peppers, but I like pickles. <laughs> as crazy as that might sound. what I like. And I'm also going to add hmm, some mayo. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this one I've added jalapeno. Now for the fun part, huh? Look at that sandwich. Mm-hmm. Take a little taste. There you go. And you can see it. Try to take a bite of this one. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Let me try it with more pickles. Give me some more of those. And some jalapenos. Here you Let me have a bite. need a lot of napkins, I can tell you that. Yeah, give it a try. I think you might like it. Hey, thanks for watching.
And don't forget to pray. And then pray some more. Pray for her, him. Pray for you. Pray for them. Pray for us. Don't stop praying. Pray. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Subscribe and tap that bell if you haven't. And if you have, thank you so much. Share with your friends and family. And comment. I would love to hear from you. Until next time, stay safe and stay blessed. I love you. I really do. I'm about to go and take this sandwich. Give me a big cold glass of water. And I'm going to watch my Santa Claus movie. One of my favorites. Hey. Once again, I love you. Later. Mm.